Hola mis estudiantes, bienvenido a Coda Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Coding the Form. In this video, we will be coding the HTML form in the modal window right here. Because in the last video, we have the modal window and we just put empty form tags but didn't actually put the form. So we're going to be doing that in this video and it's going to be great. But first, let's go to the CSS section of getbootstrap.com and click on forms. Then scroll down to the horizontal variation of the form. That's what we're going to be using as our form. This exact, almost exact version. We're going to be using the version of the form where the label and the input field are on the same line because it looks good in the context of this modal window. So we're going to be adding the name, email, and message, submit button, and that will be what we'll be doing in this video. So let's jump right in. Open your code editor. Scroll down to the form section. And let's start by giving the form the class of horizontal-form. And in that, we're going to be adding a div with the class of form-group. It's a bootstrap class that allows us to achieve the layout we are looking to do add a label inside that label or rather in the label tag uh, give it the class of call dash lg as in large dash two and control dash label these are bootstrap classes if you remember call large two that's going to allow us to use the bootstrap grid system it's going to give us two columns for the label so that we can have the input also float up beside it and I'll explain uh, why we're using the columns in here in a moment and control label that's another bootstrap class we need to add to maintain uh, to attain the layout we're looking for for labels you need to have a for attribute and tell it the ID of the input we're going to be using so it will be input name and inside the label let's just say name save that and below we're going to add a div and give it the class of call-large-10. So if you recall, the full row needs to add up to 12. And we have call-large-2 and call-large-10 that adds up to 12. But you might be curious if I were to go to the final website and show you here. This is skinnier than the full website right here. So the full website is 12 columns. But for some reason, wh why is this section right here out of the 12 columns? Why is this two columns and why is this 10 columns? They're not the same width. That doesn't make sense. That's just how it works. When you're in a row and you want to fill out the entire width of that row, no matter how wide that row is, whether the, the row is uh, 1,200 pixels wide or 600 pixels wide, if you want to fill that row out, if you have this section right here and you want this to be full, meaning you want the elements within it to span the full width, it still needs to add up to 12. So this is going to be call 2 and this is going to be call 10 to add up to 12. Back to your HTML. So inside the call large 10, we're going to add an input and give it the class of form-control. It's a bootstrap class. ID of input name. We referenced it up here in the for attribute, input name. Give it the placeholder text of name and give the type of the input uh, the attribute uh, type text. Okay, we're going to add another form group, but to save time, just copy this form group and add it below because it's going to be uh, almost identical. We just need to change a couple things. So let's change the for to input email, change the label to email, the ID of the input to input email placeholder will also be email and the type will be email save that and we are going to add another form group paste that just need to change a couple things so let's change the label to uh, input message for the for attribute and this will be message and the input will 
be not an input because we're actually going to add a text area. So text area and give that text area the class of form dash control and the ID of input message. Also give it some placeholder text message and rows equals three. That's just a specific attribute for text area to choose how wide it will be. And three is, three is the right width in this case. And below the text area, let's add a button. Give it the class of button, button success, and pull right. We want it to float over to the right of the, the, uh, the form. Give it the type of submit. Add some text, send, save that, and head to your website and see what that looks like. Open up your modal window. Okay, so something is out of whack. We did something wrong. Rather, I did something wrong and you copied me. Okay, so I know exactly what it is. Uh, I made a typo uh, in a class. So head back to the HTML. Form class needs to be form dash horizontal, not horizontal form. Save that, all of our problems will go away. Refresh, check out your modal window now. And it looks peachy. Except one little thing, this uh, submit button is a little too close up here on, uh, it's kind of getting up in messages grill right here. So. Uh, it should look more like this, some spacing, some margin on top of that. So all we're going to do is just go to our CSS and up in the layout section, just add a style for input message. That is the text area. We gave it the idea of input message. Just give it margin bottom 15 pixels. Save that. Go back to your website. Refresh it. And there you go. It's perfect. All right. So that's it for this lecture. In the next one, we're going to add the popovers and the tooltips. So see you there, amigos.